name's Turbo Dan, and today we're doing roller derby. Woo! My name's Turbo Dan, and today I'm here with Northwest Arkansas Roller Derby, and we're gonna get our skate on. Woo! I've decided to come down here today and do some roller derby because all these girls, they've got really cool nicknames, and that's something that Turbo Dan doesn't have. So today, Turbo Dan's getting a nickname. Yeah! My derby name is Alex the Great. We've had a bloody Bathroy, we've had a Joanna Bark. It only seemed fitting that my first name being Alex, I should come in as Alex the Great. There is no better community on earth than the roller derby community. Nowhere else where you can feel as instantly as accepted. Anybody can get involved. We do um, our beginner skating session two times a year. We're getting ready to start up another session. Anybody who's interested in learning how to become a skater, a referee, or even a non-skating official to help us out with our games just needs to visit our Facebook page, which is NWA Roller Girls. I am so excited that Turbo Dan is going to be here today. I have heard what a great and natural athlete he is. We're just gonna run him through a few of our standard drills that we do to get ready for any roller derby game. As you know, a roller derby team, when we go on the floor for a game, is comprised of four skaters who are called blockers and one who's called a jammer. And it's that jammer's job to go around and, and get points, and it's the blocker's job to make sure that he doesn't get those points. So, of course, being the superstar he is, he is going to take on the role of the jammer and we are going to do everything in our power to keep him from getting through and we know that's going to be very hard. But before I get to take the court, these girls are going to show me how it's done. Even though I've never played before, I'm confident that I'm going to be the best one out there today. Yeah! Turbo Dan, we're so glad you came out and skated with us today. You did such a great job that we have your derby name for you. This is a derby name that you have earned. Turbo Hammock. Welcome back everybody, later with Jason Sewell. So glad you are tuned in. We are really privileged to be joined right now by our, our man, social media correspondent, Instagram Paul joining us and his buddy Cooter is also on the line. Cooter, uh, minute. As, as you would expect with uh, some technology experts, Cooter having a little bit of technical difficulties <laughs> right now, but it's good to see both of you. Uh, Instagram Paul, I wanted to ask you a question specifically about um, learning and education happening across the country right now. A lot of folks going virtual. What do you know about that? Can you share any details? You know what I found out? Virtual is a weird, it means you didn't quite do it. You know, I can virtually teach you to fish. That means you're not going to catch any fish. You're just, uh, Cooter has several times virtually mowed my yard and the grass is still real high. This is not the right way to wear a mask. I was going to tell you too. You know, I was going to ask you about that. So oh, the little nose hammock you got there. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Is mask understand. wearing Im important in your world, Instagram, Paul? Oh yeah, it is out here. Even in the in the rural areas, you know, you you got to wear the mask because uh, we don't know pigs can carry it. Uh, there's a girl up here that has real crooked teeth. I mean, man, she could eat corn on the cob through a chain link fence. <laughs> but with her mask on, she's quite pretty. Cooter uh, got tick bit about a week ago, and his uh, his whole backside looked like a snake swallowing golf balls. He had bumps everywhere, and he uh, he put some lotion on it, and it went right away. And now he has just been uh, virtually tick bit. You know, social media right now, people are on Facebook, they're off Facebook, they're into Instagram, they're into TikTok, they're off TikTok, they're into Snapchat. 
what what are you hearing? What's the word on the street? That's the old stuff. We're doing uh, things called flip grid and and uh, and uh, brain tick and uh, uh, oh my gosh, there are so many you can't even think of them all. I can't even. I think I'm familiar with brain tick. It sounds kind of bad. Yeah, that's, well, that gets into your you know what you do is you just log in and it it kind of uh, it 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 knows what you're thinking and and does puts that in a text and sends it to people or kids or whoever you want it to go to. And you don't even have to type in anything or say anything. I'm at 10 K. <laughs> it's 10 K passwords. Uh, I, I guess that's 10,000. I would imagine. Yeah, that's about how many I've had. And those counts are ones that uh, I've changed. You know, you have to have past phrases too. Now you got to have mm -hmm. something long. You got to have a saying or a quote or something you live by, and then you got to mis misspell it. Oh, uh, <laughs> proverb. Oh, or, yeah. I know you have to misspell it. You got to put a number in there and a letter, and you got to use a special character and all the things. I, I can't hold it. That's why I do brain tick and just get it in my head, and and then the computer does the rest. Tell them about that tick medication that you've used. Yeah. Final thought from Cooter. Yeah, well, you see, basically what happened is, you know, we got one that's where you got the thing, you got the tick and all the stuff. And then, you know, people just walking around and stuff, and you're just like, wait, well, you know, six, 12 feet. Yeah, that's good. That's right. Yeah, six feet. Instagram, Paul, we really appreciate you taking the time to join us and fill us in, especially on what's happening with virtual learning. Uh, and learned a new thing myself with brain tick. Cooter. Brain worm. We're going to have to find a way to get you some internet out in the field when you're out there working, because we would really love to hear what you have to say uh, about everything you have going on. But gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Great fun, as always, having you on the show. Hey, Jason, be careful out there. Have you never noticed on a Zoom meeting when the faces get frozen and you don't, they always freeze in a, in a really weird Exactly. Exactly. We'll leave you with that thought, folks. Stick around. We got more happening later. You want to go where everybody knows the game. And so I said, you got to be kidding me, right? Oh, hey, look, it's Tiger. Hey, Tiger. Oh, Tiger had a, uh, it was like a bad day. Fell down some steps and, and I kicked. Ooh, kicked him in the shin. That's rough. This one's on me. Bear says, uh, at least you didn't get kicked. Oh, in the, uh, there you go. Oh, Turkey says, uh, people just don't show enough love. We get them uh, excited, and then there's just no appreciation. No appreciation. No lying. Where, where's the love? Uh, the other guys just carry a ball around. And uh, what, more, what more do they want from us? Are they, are they not entertained? Huh. You know... You know, guys, it would be a lot easier for me if you just use your own words. Yeah, that's right. It's a safe place here. Um, mm. uh, oh, I just, uh... Ooh, what? what? I, I assume. She, I just assume. Yes. Yeah, you did. You wanna go where everybody knows the game. Hey, hey! Hello, everybody! Thanks for having me on. Oh, Instagram Paul here. Hey, summertime's coming up. And this summer, people are wanting to get outside, I think. <laughs> a little bit more than usual. The ticks are gonna be bad this year. They say the ticks from this uh, this winter didn't all freeze out. And Cooter has uh, developed a new kind of a tick smear with garlic and uh, apple cider vinegar and some uh, eucalyptus oil, or cedar oil, uh, lots of essential oils in there, tea tree oil, also a little gasoline and some ammonia. And you rub that on you? And I tell you, yeah, yeah, you smell bad. You smell worse than a landfill on a bad day, but hey, 
no ticks. You gotta watch for the ticks, so uh, seriously folks, get out there, drink plenty of water when you are out there. Uh, water skiing, I like to water ski. I like to go run it in the woods sometimes, uh, climbing trees, and that's how you will get tick bit. If you do get tick bit, go online, get you some of that digital currency, you can wipe it out with some tick bit coin, and that will cure it. In the summertime is when uh, people need to get together again, talk, not like last summer. We need to get together as humanly as possible. But when you do get too close, make sure you have been also uh, vaccinated. You've both been vaccinated. I think that's not a problem anymore. Cooter, uh, Cooter picked up 30 vials of uh, vaccine and he had been going around secretly injecting people that he knows didn't get vaccinated. And uh, you know, he's just trying to make sure everybody's safe. He's joined this new group, uh, Doctors Without Diplomas, to make people safer out there. And we appreciate him and his tick smear campaign. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people without a life jacket on out there trying to swim. And there's nothing worse than somebody, an adult who doesn't know how to swim and says they're too embarrassed to take swimming classes, that they, they'd rather drown, they said, than be embarrassed by taking swimming classes as an adult. There's nothing wrong with that. I take them, I give them. And uh, I, I think it's a good way to learn to swim, is with lessons, be thrown in the deep end. Sometimes that's like life. Sometimes you gotta just jump in, you know? <laughs> jump in and see what happens. But wear your life jacket. Be a little safe there. Don't fully jump in. Jump in to where you're knee deep, you know? It's like my grandpa used to say, don't go full on anything you're not that sure about. But then, when you are, that's it. Go full, all the way. Hey, this is Instagram Paul coming at you. Be careful, get offline. We don't need to see what your kid ate every five minutes or what you said every five minutes. Let's 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 turn off the Instagram Pauls and the Instagrams and everything else and just go out, enjoy yourself in the hot, hot summertime. <laughs> eat some watermelon for Instagram Paul. It's like spitting seeds straight at somebody else's face, but they dodge just in time. Happy summer! Previously on Galactic Raiders, the Raiders ventured into a Galuga space whale seeking the fabled Calero's leg. They found the leg, but took considerable damage to their Vinellium screens. They are practically flying blind. Will this be the end of the Raiders? Captain, I'm picking up a strong reading of Vinellium in the upcoming system. It seems to be coming from the element mine of Rengel 4. Captain, there seems to be a large source of Vinellium up ahead. We have several screens on this ship that could be repaired with Vinellium. That's true. We are in desperate need of some. And it's hard to get with that price on our heads. Are they mining it? No, they're dumping it. The deposit is on the outskirts of the mine in what looks like a refuse dump. It must be a byproduct Well, of one mine's trash is a galactic treasure. <laughs> but it looks like the planet is heavily guarded. It is a mine, sir. I've got it! All we need is the right disguise. Janitors? I can navigate the Epoch asteroid field and I'm dressed up as a janitor? Quiet! It looks like the deposit is up ahead. Oh, 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 oh it's so my. Oh, it's so nasty. Well, it is a refuse dump. It's covered in gat track. I'm going to need a biohazard to get this Quiet. off of me. Gather up as much as you can so we can get out of here. Captain, we have gathered all that is available, but we need more to complete our repairs. How will we get the rest? And how do we get it off of this planet? Well, let's just say it won't be pretty. Are the raiders about to get dumped? Are their aspirations trashed? How can they possibly refuse? Find out more next time on Galactic Raiders! In only 10 seconds, my warriors! Who will be upon you? The end is nigh. <laughs> Freedom is just on the other side of the 
this wall. It's going to take all of us with all of our strength and both of our hands to open the portal. Redshirt, get in here. We can't do it without you. One of my arms was torn off by that beast. Sharks. What's your problem? My, my, oh, oh, not, this is my problem. Oh, God, what, help, help, you see me struck? Just turn for a second and just, <laughs> <laughs>